Welcome to Wi-Fi Money, where our mission is to help you increase and diversify your income online. Make sure you hit that like button if you gain any value, subscribe for more money-making tips, and tap that notification bell so you're first to each and every new money-making opportunity. Please feel free to check out our website, letsmakewifimoney.com, to get updates on money-making opportunities before they go live on our channel. Lastly, Weeble is teaming up with us here at Wi-Fi Money to bring you guys three free stocks valued all the way up to $6,300. That is literally free money, folks. All you got to do is use our link in the description, download Weeble, deposit only one cent or more to unlock your three free stocks valued all the way up to $6,300. Thank you, Weeble, for providing that awesome opportunity for our audience and thank you guys for being here. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Honestly, we thought this was a little bit too good to be true and I'm sure you will as well. However, for the first time ever, there is a debit card that builds credit and even gives up to 1% cash back. Better yet, has zero credit checks. Anybody and their dog could get this revolutionary card with no deposits and no fees. Yeah, we can't believe it either. However, before we discuss in more detail about the new debit card, we quickly need to hit some highlights so we can fully grasp the vast potential of this new card. Now, starting with the difference between a debit and credit card. A debit card withdraws money you already have saved from your checking or savings account, while the credit card loans you a set amount of money that you will need to pay back with interest. A debit card allows you to spend money that you already have saved by withdrawing funds from your checking or savings account. When you make a purchase using your debit card, the funds are automatically transferred from your checking or savings account to the merchant's account. Now, a credit card, on the other hand, loans you a set amount of money that you will need to pay back later with interest. When you make a purchase using your credit card, the funds are not automatically transferred from your checking or savings account to the merchant's account. Instead, the credit card company pays the merchant directly. This means you will need to pay back your credit card debt with interest. Now, I'm sure you've heard debit cards are good, credit cards are bad. However, that cannot be further from the truth. I think everybody needs at least one credit card. However, that's a story for another time. So, moving on. Next, the pros and cons of debit cards. One of the absolute biggest pros of a debit card is that you don't have to go into debt and you don't have to pay any interest on your spending. However, if you don't have enough money in your account to cover an emergency car repair, medical bill, etc., you're just kind of screwed. And they also do not build you credit. Just because you have a stable job doesn't mean you'll be able to qualify for any of the car loans or home loans you want. You also do not earn cash back. Now, when I personally swipe my credit card and pay it back within 30 days, I get unlimited 2% cash back on my purchases. That's free money, folks. So yes, debit cards are nice and safe. However, you're leaving a lot on the table that you should be taking advantage of. Now, the pros and cons of credit cards. The pros of having a credit card is that it gives borrowers a way to build credit and access funds when they need them. You need credit for most of life's most important purchases like a car, boat, home, business loan, etc. You can also get cash back like we mentioned earlier. Honestly, it's a real nice peace of mind having a credit card just in case an emergency pops up. Now, the cons are that credit cards can lead to overspending if borrowers are not careful, and interest rates can be very high. However, none of the cons are really the credit card's fault. Any downfall of a credit card is simply because the user isn't disciplined and spends money that they don't have. If you don't pay it back in full within the 30-day grace period, you pay a lot of money for interest. My current credit card charges 18% on my remaining balance until it's paid off. Credit cards can be very dangerous in the wrong hands, but at the same time are kind of essential to getting ahead financially. As long as you're careful, credit cards can be a good thing. Now let's talk about the best of both worlds. What if you can have a debit card that also builds credit? What if you even got up to unlimited 1% cash back? Yeah, those kinds of debit cards don't exist. Well, at least until now. Introducing the extra debit card. The debit card that builds credit, folks. Is this too good to be true and does it come with too many strings attached? Or is this actually a solution to a problem everybody wants solved? Let's find out. 
In big, bold letters, the first words on the screen is, Build your credit with a debit card. Hmm. They claim to be the first debit card that builds credit and even earns reward points with zero credit checks. Okay, this hands down sounds too good to be true, so let's investigate. First, how does extra work? Here's the whole process explained in their very own words from their website. First, you connect your bank account with Extra. After that, Extra then gives you a spending limit called spending power based on your bank balance with no credit checks. Generally, the more purchases you make with Extra, the more your spending power will increase. Now, every time you swipe your Extra card, they spot you for the purchase and automatically pay themselves back the next business day. At the end of each month, they add up all of your purchases and report them to the major credit bureaus like Equifax and Experian as credit-worthy payments. And there you have it, a debit card that builds credit. Okay, so that seems to make sense. Now, is Extra a secured card, aka do you have to put down hundreds of dollars for a deposit? Simply, no. No deposits, no interest rates, no fees. A secured card requires an upfront deposit, usually one to two times the credit limit. They come with very high interest rates, fees, and rarely provide rewards. Due to their structure, they usually have low limits and when you utilize more than 30% of your available limit, this can actually hurt your credit score. Finally, they have limited impact on your credit score because credit bureaus know you're lending the money to yourself. The extra debit card is the opposite. Extra allows members to keep their existing bank account so they can safely build their credit and earn rewards points with the money that they already have. There are no deposits, interests, or hidden fees. All right, we must be dreaming. Most credit building products make money from steep interest rates, hidden fees, and by selling your personal data, especially the quote free cards. At Extra, they say that they don't think that's right. That's why they charge a flat monthly subscription instead, with their lowest plan starting at only $7 a month. And since you earn redeemable points with every purchase that can be used in their amazing rewards store, the card will literally pay for itself. This way, you can focus on building credit and working towards long-term goals with the money you actually have without worrying about things like data mining, steep interest rates, or hidden fees. Now, we know everything we need to know. We get every benefit of the best credit cards out there that are reserved for those who have high income and perfect credit. However, they don't even check your credit. So if you have no credit or bad credit, this is a great solution to start building or rebuilding. And as for the cost, $7 a month is nothing compared to the benefits you get. Not to mention, I spend on average probably about $3,000 per month on basic bills. Their cashback rate is 1%. That means I'd make $30 per month for no reason. Therefore, this card would literally make me money every single month. Now, if you want to bypass the $7 fee, literally download Weeble. Deposit only one cent and you can unlock three free stocks worth three to $3,000. So in the worst case scenario, you get $9. And in the best case scenario, you get $9,000. Both outcomes will easily cover your first $7 payment if you go sign up for the extra debit card today. There you have it, folks. That's how Extra Debit Card works, how it builds credit, and how they make money, and how it benefits you. Now, quick side note, we have zero affiliation with Extra, and we're not sponsored by it anyway. We're only sponsored by Weeble, so this is an unbiased review. I figured I'd throw that in there at the end, just in case, and have a good one, folks.